What is going on guys? Today I'll be talking about how to catch a legendary fish in Red Dead Redemption 2. So this method I'm showing here is pretty easy and there's only really a couple steps to go ahead and do it. So first thing you're going to want to actually go to uh, kind of like a random stranger mission. I'll show you where it is on the map right here. It's a uh, kind of above roads. It's almost in the middle of nowhere here on the lake. It's kind of like almost northwest to roads on the map. And this is just a random mission that's going to pop up after you finish chapter three, actually. So once you actually go up to this guy, I think his name's like Gil or something like that. He just kind of shows himself as a fisherman. And you have this kind of long conversation with him about like fishing and about uh, just overall like how to kind of get the mission. So I'll let you guys watch this real quick. And if you want to skip it, I will actually put timestamps in the description so you don't have to watch this um, whole lengthy like sideshow thing. Okay. Who are you? Jeremy Gill. Who? The famous fisherman. I've written a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's one from the New Hanover Gazette from a few years back. And this is a book I wrote. Huh? I wrote it. Good for you. You really don't know who I am? Ah. Oh, well. <sighs> nice to meet you. You too. Arthur. Yeah. Sure you don't want a photo? Uh, not right now. Oh. You know, mothers, they often offer me their daughters. Just for a photograph? <laughs> no! To marry. But I say no. I'm married to the fish. Huh. So, you're famous for fishing? Very. And that pays well? Uh, pretty well. What I mostly do is send fans stuffed fish. Stuffed fish? Yeah. Here, let me show you. Come with me. <laughs> and you're selling these? Yes. How many do you want? If you get three, we can do a photograph. Together. Like actual friends. No, I'm fine. It's, it's sort of ridiculous. Listen, jump. People love it. And I could sell even more fish if I add them. <laughs> It helps them to know that out there, there's some man fighting with Neptune on a daily basis and winning. Okay. But I can't catch enough of them. And there's really good money in this. I'll fish a little. You do? Well, in that case, send them to me. Uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for $50. I'd give you 15 Send you fish. Ooh, my card and a map. Well, maybe a shell. <laughs> Only the decent ones. They have to be at least 24 inches in length and 10 pounds in weight. No one wants to imagine... And then finally, once you're done talking to him, he actually gives you a map, and that's really the most important thing out of all of this because it kind of shows you where the legendary fish are, or at least where they're located. But once I open up the map here, you'll kind of see that the map isn't actually that good. It doesn't really show you like exactly where all the fish are going to be. It kind of gives it like a weird like game looking outlook of it. Um, and it lists it off for you if you click to read it. But if you go to pause here, IGN actually gives you an entire map of where you can catch all the different legendary fish. And I'll leave a link to theirs in the description as well. So the next step you're going to want to do, actually, is to go to a bait shop in, I think it's called Lagros or something like that. It's not really a town that's on the map. It's more of like a small swamp village, but it's relatively easy to find kind of above St. Dennis again. Then once you actually go here, you're going to want to head up to the bait shop so you can actually buy the legendary bait lure. And these lures are, I think they're about 20 bucks a piece. They're actually kind of expensive when you think about it, actually only 18, but um, they are definitely worth it. And you could buy all three. And your choices to buy all three are special lake lure, special river lure, and special swamp lure. So these are three totally different kinds of lures and you're going to want to use these in different locations depending on what kind of legendary fish you are trying to fish for. So if we head over to below St. Dennis, actually it's one of the river locations. Here I'm just going to kind of show you like how to catch it. Uh, you can use eagle eye to see where the fish are once you actually pull out your rod, but I actually don't really think that's helpful. If you basically just throw your rod out where, or your lure out where there's like bubbles or where you can see them in your eagle eye, uh, fish will appear and you will eventually catch a fish. So over to the left here, there's kind of a decent amount over there. I don't actually see any legendary fish right now, but I'm sure like some will pop up regardless. 
And one tip too, I don't actually throw my lure out very long. I kind of do a short cast. If you do it longer, it makes it nearly impossible to catch fish. And just two general tips when you're reeling it in. If you actually flick down on the left thumbstick, so if you continually flick down after the fish is tired, like when the fish stopped fighting, it's actually a lot easier to catch the fish. And it does take at least like five to six real attempts to catch it. I haven't caught one and under that and the longest it's ever taken me is like 10. Um, for whatever reason the one in the swamp seemed to be a lot harder but um, it actually isn't too tough. But anyways guys that's really it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did definitely leave a like and uh, subscribe to my channel for more Red Dead content. But other than that guys thanks for watching.